This is what I look like with absolutely nothing on my head. Okay? This is what I look like with a hat on my head. It's an improvement. And this is what I look like with a hat and a seagull on my head. Yeah, so how did that happen? I've never seen anyone come across a wild bird like that and pet it and stroke it. And that bird was so calm and cool and collective. It's still and here. You're joking. No. What are you done with him? He's here. You put him in the box? No, he's over here. You didn't hear what happened? No. Let's try and tell the story as quickly as we can. Once upon a time, a long time ago, there was a young seagull. It was a, a young, hungry, nameless seagull. Trust me, again, the end of this video, he will have a name. Anyway, on this particular day, our young, nameless, hungry seagull spots a snack box that was thrown out into the middle of the road in front of my house and thinks to himself, yes, this is where I'm going to have my dinner today and proceeds to nibble on what's left of the snack box, completely oblivious to the traffic that was whizzing around him. Unfortunately for him, the traffic was equally oblivious to the fact that he was having his dinner in the middle of the road and a car managed to hit him. Not good news if you're the seagull. An absolute superhero of a woman had been driving behind and seen everything. She pulled her car up right in front of my house and legged it over to the poor seagull, picked him up off the road, brought him back to her car and started to resuscitate him. And she did a good job because he came around and started to flap around and he was flapping everywhere. At this stage she was going, oh my God, what have I done? I came over doing my own flap around thing. I said, D -d -d do you want any help? She said, well, here, you take him. I had a seagull in my hand for the first time in my life. Because he was throwing up his eyes. Okay, let's put him on the grass. And slowly and surely he, s he started to calm down which was good news. At that stage, a friend of mine came over and he said, That man has got serious guts because if it was for me to put my hands near a bird like that, we're talking pecky, pecky, pecky. <laughs> <laughs> so the bird was now calm. The problem was it was getting dark and there was no way I was gonna leave the bird out there overnight. So the plan was get a cardboard box take the board, put it into the cardboard box, bring them into the shed overnight. He'll be safe, he'll be warm. Yes, the board will be safe and the board will be warm. Not me, no. So the board was in the box and the box is now in the shed. And I had another great idea. My idea was that if I put the box on the bonnet of the Jeep, it would keep the box warmer. It would be warmer, it would be higher, the board would be safer. Yeah, that's exactly where it all went wrong. Now the very second that box landed on the bonnet of the Jeep, the bird jumped out of the box and landed on my shoulder and he stayed there for about 10 minutes. I thought it was hilarious. It was brilliant. I had a new friend. Did I what? A couple of minutes later, I felt what I thought was a peck on my ear. I'm thinking, oh, there's gratitude for you. He loves me. But it wasn't his beak. No, it was his foot. He was using my ear for leverage to get up on the top of my head. Up onto the top of my head and he would not get off. Not for three hours. After about 15 minutes I started to panic because it was getting darker. I was getting colder. I was stuck in the shed. I tried to get out but every time I walked out of the shed, once I got outside, the board would start pecking my head. So I had to stay there. I was held captive. What was worse was that I had the man flu. This was the last place I wanted to be. So 
So, I went on to Facebook. I made some videos just to document the whole thing and to ask for help, really, because I, I had never read the manual on how to solve your seagull on your head crisis. I hadn't read that book. Very remiss of me, I know. This is what happened over the next three hours. Okay, this is my buddy, um, Seagull. I don't know what I'm gonna do here at all. Uh, I'm kind of just stuck here. Um, we're just hanging out and having the crack, as you see. Um, yeah, I, well, yeah. Okay, I think we've established it's a very young seagull and um, it seems to be house trained because it hasn't shit on my shoulder yet. Uh, don't have a name yet. So how's your Saturday going? Oh, yeah, by the way, I'm dying with the man flu too. Honestly, I need help. I know I can be a bit of a bored brain, but this is just pushing it a little bit too far. Listen, I've rescued this poor little baby seagull. It got hit by a car. Um, it seems to be doing fine, but I have no idea um, how to look after the bird, nor do I really have the facility. So if somebody who specializes in rescuing these sort of birds, I said, he's gorgeous, he's absolutely amazing. He's a buddy for life, I love him or her, um, but I, that's why I want to see him or her looked after. So if there's anybody that can help that's anywhere near Navan, basically, who can help me out here, um, yeah, I'd like to just get in out of this coal shed. I, I can go nowhere, look, see? No matter where I go, my little birdie's gonna follow. I should really put this on Twitter. I really never, ever, ever have done a link like this before. But you can see that I'm in a bit of trouble here. I've got this wonderful, beautiful seagull. Um, I was gonna call it a puppy, baby seagull, who um, got hit by a car earlier on. Ah, shit! That's real shit. I mean, seriously, what am I going to do? This is just, yeah, I know. Um, help! Uh, look, see, this fella has no fear. He is attached for life. Some people get a monkey on their back. Oh, oh by the way, um, I've given him, her a name. I decided to call him Stevie. Or horror Stevie, so it could be like Stevie Wonders or Stevie Nicks. Oh my God, Stevie, come on, we have to get you home. <laughs> really, honestly, unless we go to the pub. To thank Louise Ferriter for giving you a name. I was calling you either Stevie Wonder or Stevie Nicks. She's decided that your name, you ready for this? Stevie Seagull. Yeah, okay. I'll get me coat. I was joking. I was winding you all up. It's real. It's so real. This is the sort of stuff that could only happen to me. I mean, come on. 2019, can we not just sort of casually go out? Not with a bang, just a little whimper would be fine. Oh my god. Okay, board, back into the shed we go. Okay, just in case you thought I'd been making this up. No, no, this is real. I don't even know what time it is. What time, what, what time is it? It's five to six on a Saturday and I've got a baby seagull stuck on my head for the last two hours. What was that that came out of his mouth? Look, I need help here. Who, who can help me out? Please. <laughs> I've got a bird on the brain. I honestly need help. 
Seriously. I mean, I love animals and everything like this, but as you can see, I'm not the type of person who should be left in charge of animals. They just run riot or just, yeah, I'm feeling used. Help. Honestly, love this guy. I really do, but this is just fucking ridiculous. Help. What I I can't go nowhere. He's not going anywhere. No, he's staying there. Aren't you staying there? Yes, you are. Please don't shit me again. Thanks. He didn't, did it? no. I've just realized I spent every minute of the day actually helping other people. And then this happens. I mean, don't get me wrong. I still love this board, but I'm... There's no shaking him, watch if I move my head, yeah, no. Move my head that way, nah, this way, nah, no. Nah. Stuck on you. Just don't do anything else in me, thanks. Just uh, doing this to uh, prove to you that this is real. It's an ongoing situation. I am absolutely not making this up. The sort of shit that happens to me could only happen to me and here's the proof. Hey now, hey now, don't dream it's over. Hey now, hey now, when the world comes in, they come, they come, build a wall between us. You know they won't win. No, that wasn't the end. It's not over. He stayed the night. He stayed the next morning, he stayed the next day, and the next night, and the next night, and the next night after that. In fact, I came down at three o'clock one morning, he was standing in front of the wall, looking in at the house, waiting for me. He comes down every morning looking for his breakfast. Seems to have a penchant for beef dog food. Look at him, his lips are watering when I just said that. In a few minutes, in a few minutes, Stevie. Now the other thing, the other side effect about having a beautiful fella like this land on your head is that uh, got a bit of media coverage, a bit of a celeb, so he is. Um, yeah, thank you to all the media who've been covering this. I don't think life will ever be the same again. Yeah. Some people say if you want to get a head, get a hat. It's bullshit. If you want to get ahead, get a hat and a seagull. Okay, Stevie Seagull, we're out of here. You can stay where you are, but I'm getting in out of the cold. So long.